This is Catherine Dow reporting for Room Now. I just got out of the great debate between Michelle Petrie and Dr. James Rosenbaum. Incredible session. Um, there were insults flung. There were great scientific data that were being presented. Dr. Rosenbaum says that, you know, rheumatologists, we're using such high doses of hydroxychloroquine and at what cost? Because the 2016 guidelines from the American Academy of Ophthalmology says that rheumatologists should not prescribe more than five milligrams per kilograms per day because the risk for retinopathy after 10 years of use can be as high as 40%. So at this point, Dr. Michelle Petrie was furrowing her eyebrows, kind of giving him this intense like ugly look and uh, also Dr. Rosenbaum was mentioning you know hydroxychloroquine may not be all that safe of a drug there's been several abstracts at this ACR meeting where he mentioned hydroxychloroquine and rheumatoid arthritis may increase the risk of atrial fibrillation uh, congestive heart failure so he really cautions us that we should have more data about this medication and its toxicity. Then Dr. Petrie, here she is, sauntering up onto the stage, very confident. Confident woman, knows what she's talking about. In fact, she says that the H for hydroxychloroquine stands for health insurance, especially in this time and age when health insurance is so expensive. Anyways, so she goes over all the data that's been published. And in her John Hopkins lupus cohort, she mentioned that the risk for retinopathy after 16 to 20 years of use in her patient population is only about 10 percent. And not only that, the benefits so far outweigh the low risk of retinopathy. And in fact, we're probably underdosing. Um, and the reason why is because patients aren't that compliant. In young patients with lupus, only about maybe um, 60 to 70 percent of them actually take their medicine. So that means a non-compliance rate of 30 percent. And in other studies, non-compliance rate can be as high as 50 percent. And she suggests maybe we should measure blood levels of hydroxychloroquine because that's the only way of knowing whether or not our patients are taking it and if the levels are toxic. She also expounds on the benefits of hydroxychloroquine, including decrease in thrombosis, uh, improved um, survival, decreased cardiovascular mortality, uh, benefits in pregnancy. Uh, so there's just so many uh, great benefits related to hydroxychloroquine. She also mentioned that what, and this is the point that I really love. She says, you know, in the guidelines of the American Academy of Ophthalmology, it says that one of the risks for retinopathy is a combination of tamoxifen plus hydroxychloroquine. But heaven forbids, if we ever tell the ophthalmologist to lower the dose of tamoxifen or to stop tamoxifen, right? And why? Because we're worried about the risk for cancer recurrence. But yet, you know, we say nothing to the opposition, quote, quote, the opposition, particularly when they say lower your dose of hydroxychloroquine because of risk of retinopathy. Well, why would we do that? Because, you know, that's like if we lowered the dose of hydroxychloroquine, the risk for death, thrombosis is high. I mean, cancer recurrence, death, thrombosis, come on. So clearly in my mind, Michelle Petrie had won the debate. Um, the take-home point, actually, is actually very interesting. Uh, she also mentioned that there's a new drug that is an anti-malarial that has the benefits of hydroxychloroquine without the ocular toxicity or the retinotoxicity, and that's desethyl hydroxychloroquine. So that's a drug to be looked for. And it, towards the end of the debate, Dr. Rosenbaum tried to, re tried to do his best to rebuke her claims by saying, um, well, can you explain about the cardiovascular risk and, and such in and RA? Well, I got to remind you, number one, this debate's on lupus and use of low-dose hydroxychloroquine. Um, and number two is these are abstracts. We need more data. And what's interesting when I was tweeting the debate was that somebody from Denmark tweeted me back with regards to uh, his claims about cardiovascular risk, hydroxychloroquine, and rheumatoid arthritis, saying that actually in their uh, study, they found that the risk, the cardiovascular death risk for RA patient actually is lowered if they're on hydroxychloroquine. So food for thought, um, I still believe hydroxychloroquine is a very important medicine in the management of lupus and I still will use doses that may be a little bit higher than five milligrams per kilograms. This is Catherine Dow reporting.